All right, now that we have our stage set up and our, our layout set up, um, we're ready to go ahead and draw our, our stick figure. So if you look over here on this side right here in the top right corner, you'll see uh, this little window and you can actually set that so that it's fit in window and that'll make your stage a little bit bigger for you to be able to see better. Uh, we're going to start with the head. So if you look over here, there should be a tool like a shape tool right here that looks like a rectangle and it might have a different shape in there depending on what you did last or who used it last or whatever. But if you click right here, it should be the one right underneath the T. You click it and hold it down, and you should be able to select the oval tool, which is what we use to make a circle. That's going to be the head for our stick figure. Um, I want to make sure that I don't have a stroke on this. So this little icon represents a stroke, and I want to go ahead and select the one with the little line through it. That means I don't have a line that's going to be drawn on the outside of the shape that I create. And I'm going to make my fill a black so it's going to be a, a really just a straight black for this shape that I'm going to make so I've got my elliptical tool if I press down and pull I'm going to be able to make a circle and if I kind of pull down a little bit I can make that circle more elongated more like the shape of a real head or if I hold down the shift button it'll make a perfect circle for me it doesn't matter where I move this thing I'll make a perfect circle so I'm going to go ahead and let go and then um, this I've got my head already made this is the selection tool right here, the little arrow. I can move that around, and you can see I've got a perfectly uh, round circle. When I select it, using that selection tool, you'll notice it kind of gets this funky little pattern to it so that you know that it's selected. You can also select it by making a rectangle around it, and then you can move that around. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and do the body. I'm going to use this line tool for the body. When I do the body, though, I want to make sure that I have this stroke select it. So I'm going to click on the stroke and I'm going to make that stroke black just like the, the fill color is. And I'm going to select that line tool. It's important that you draw uh, the stick figure the way that I'm showing you using this line tool because you'll see later why. Uh, I'm just going to make a line straight down and I don't want it to connect the head just yet. I'm just going to make a little straight line straight down right here. And I don't want it to connect the head at this point. If I go to properties I'm going to be able to make that stroke much thicker. Okay, first I want to select this line that I just made. I'm going to go ahead and select it, make a rectangle around it, and you'll notice it has that little crazy little pattern to it. And then I go to properties here, and I'm going to be able to make that stroke much thicker so that I can make that body a little bit thicker, have a little bit of meat on, on that body, see? All right, so good. Here's my body. Uh, what you'll notice is if you looked at, at this other tool right here next to it, this is called the subselection tool. If I click in the middle here, and you'll notice now that I have like this little line that shows up. Okay, so that's going to be real important, so watch this. Now we're going to go ahead and make the legs. We're going to use that same tool that we use to make the body for the legs and make sure that it has the stroke and the fill in black. And we're going to draw from the knee connecting to the torso. So um, the important thing also that needs to happen right now is you have to make sure that the snap to objects icon is selected. Right now it's not selected. If I click on it and it gets dark, now it's selected. And so it's very important. So watch. When I take, press down on this line and I go ahead and bring it over to the torso, it'll snap to the center of where that line is, okay? And we want that to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing from the bottom of the ankle to the knee. And it's gonna snap to the knee, okay? And I'm gonna make another small line right here, like the foot, and that's gonna be the foot. We got one leg done, so here goes the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and make this the same exact way I did that last one. Don't worry too much if it's perfectly aligned right now. If one leg is a little bit longer than the other, don't worry about that at this point. Um, I'm going to now make the arms. So again, I'm going to start from the outside and connect to and snap. And then I'm going to make this elbow pointing down and snap. I'm not going to worry about a, a hand on this. So again, we're going to snap to this, to the body, and snap to the elbow. Bam. So we got our guy. There he is. Now, 
<clears throat> earlier I said I didn't want to connect it so if it's up to you it's really kind of a matter of preference I find it easier to make this um, to animate this head later so I, if I move it around to different parts here like a, a little bit over to the left or to the right it sort of gives the impression that maybe it's looking a certain way maybe looking down or whatever depending on where you place this head and I think that it actually works better if you don't have it connected to the body I think it looks fine that way and people will get the idea of what what's going on so here we go we, we've got our stick figure ready to go in the next video we'll start to animate them <laughs>